everybody, it's Michael Fisher with Pocket Now at CES 2014 at the ZTE booth. ZTE, a brand you may not immediately associate with smartphones in the United States, but that's something the company is looking to change going forward. And we're going to check out one of the leading instruments of that effort, the ZTE Nubia 5S. So at first glance, the 5S looks a whole lot like its predecessor, the uh, the Nubia 5, which Jaime Rivera reviewed for us not very long ago. This device is in white. It is available in white and black. You can see this glossy finish here. The dual stereo speakers down below. In the hand, the most interesting thing about the device when you first pick it up is its palmability. I mean, yes, it, it has some narrow radius corners down here, but it's not at all sharp. It feels very comfortable in the palm. And uh, yeah, this is going to pick up some grease. It's going to get really, really fingerprinty, but it's still fairly, fairly comfortable. And the first, one of the first things you notice, of course, is this hardware camera key here. We're going to get back to that in a second because this camera is one of the most important features of the device. Well, let's hop around to the front, just talk about the basics real quick. This is powered by a Snapdragon 800 processor. Uh, it, it weighs 126 grams. It's actually a lot lighter than uh, anything else or a lot of other devices of its class, but it doesn't feel cheap at all. Put it down so you can kind of take a look at it on the table there. Two gigs of RAM backing up that Snapdragon 800, 2300 milliamp hour battery within. And that display you're looking at is a 5 inch 1080p display, protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3, of course. But of course, none of the UI customizations are at all as interesting as what's around back. The camera on this device is 13 megapixels. It is a Sony sensor underneath the hump there. This is Exmor RS, an aperture of f2.0. But the distinctive thing here, something we're becoming used to seeing on high-end devices, the little hump implies OIS, optical image stabilization, of course, meaning hardware stabilization. So we pop it around back here, we fire up the viewfinder, jump into the camera. Always love to see that hardware uh, camera key. We'll see if we can take a shot of our Qi energy bar there. Half press to focus, full press to snap. And a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of a hand, and that's a wonderful thing to see. But, okay, so there's nothing terribly special in automatic mode, but you hop into pro mode, and you get kind of, sorry, a double tap there, that's my fault. Up into pro mode, and you get kind of a interesting heads-up display. First of all, you've got an artificial horizon, which I've been wanting on smartphone shooters for a very long time to make sure you're taking a good shot, especially if you have a horizon in the shot. You can't really tell whether it's even or not, or even if, or if you don't have a horizon in the shot. Whatever, it's a good thing to have. But the really awesome thing are these independently controllable icons, which means, which controls white balance, focus, and exposure, all of them independent. You can link them together, yes, but you can also control them independently if you want to, which might be useful in an environment like this with constantly changing lighting conditions. This is really awesome. It is not the end of the camera customizations in the viewfinder, but it is certainly uh, one of the most distinctive. And this software suite may come to other Android devices in the future. And there's the multitasking view, and when we want to get out of the camera, we can just toss it right off the top of the screen. This is a quick look at the ZTE Nubia 5. We don't know anything on uh, release plans, on pricing. All that will be determined at a later date. This is pre-production hardware and software, but it is probably one of the more interesting things we've seen thus far at CES. Look forward to seeing more from ZTE. I'm Michael Fisher, Tony, and Taylor are behind the camera. Thank you to ZTE for the early look, and uh, we'll stay tuned for CES videos. We're making more of them. Let's end this video before I keep talking.